Hello everyone. As we continue our journey through Lent, I'd like to begin this reflection with a few short words from Rediscover Jesus, the book we got lost last Lent. And I hope that uh, many of you are reviewing that book and rediscovering Jesus again in our lives. It's a constant time of conversion. At the beginning of chapter 10, Matthew Kelly writes these wonderful words. God sees things in you that you don't see in yourself. Uh, very true words to all of us. Oftentimes we can box ourselves into different ideas or roles of what we can and can't do, often informed by how other people see us or what other people say about us or treat, how other people treat us. And, and the author of Refresh and Renew Your Lives, the booklet that we're reading in Lent this year, praying with in Lent this year, talks about that in two different ways. On March 11th, he talks about praying for difficult people, praying for people that often cause us the stresses in life, often box us in, often channel us into areas that we don't want to be, and how our prayer for them, our offering of our time, talent, and treasure for them can often cause us to grow in life and grow in blessing where we, once again, go out to embrace, to serve others as Jesus desires us to do. And then on March the 15th, uh, he talks about those difficult relationships often within families, how, how families and the roles we have in families and the place that we have in families can often narrow our ability to serve God because we allow those roles to hold us back from who we are. I experienced that myself as a priest. One day I was just Mark, a brother of my brothers and sisters, and the next day I was Father Mark. And that changed how many of my brothers and sisters saw me, treated me, spoke to me, what they expected of me in many different ways, and, and both good and bad. And yet, being the brother, being the son, being the friend is still a role that I hold dear in my heart. And because they know me well, they can call my stuff. But it also is that time where, because of who God has called me to be, that I also offer myself to my family in a different way, in a, in a way that brings, hopefully, holiness and blessing to the family. And in many ways, that is what we are each called to do. We are each called to continue that negotiation of life, whether it's uh, caring for an aging parent, uh, becoming a new parent, having teenagers in the house, uh, trying to deal with mom and dad who are going crazy on us sometimes. All those things are ways that we are called to reach out and embrace because the other option, of course, is to push people away. As that's what the devil wants, right? He wants us to be ununified. He wants us to be isolated, whereas God desires us to gather in, to embrace, and to love. So as we continue with Lent, I encourage you to gather in, to embrace, and to love. God bless you all.